Welcome back to more Panzer Paladin. Last time we went out to my home uh, nation of Scotland and we killed ourselves a dragon and got ourselves a cool sword out of the whole ordeal. Today, we're going to be shaking things up a little bit. Now, we could go to Switzerland and go find ourselves a giant snowman, but it's still too early to embrace winter just yet. I'm feeling more like I want to take a trip to Greece instead. So we're going to go to Greece and we're going to go kill Medusa. And we've arrived. Greece is probably one of my more favorite levels in this game. I love like the the, the level layout for it. it. It's one of those nice bright and colorful levels. It's not just toned down to like one to two colors. One thing I don't really like about it is the skeleton archer that it has. It has a real abundance of them. And we got these uh, storm demons up here you got to avoid because they're going to shoot down lightning. But they're pretty easy to kill. Uh, I think right here? Nope. Oof. Yeah, the fact that he's floating right above those two death pits right there is just... Ooh, it's cruel. I know one of those walls right there is a false wall, so we gotta keep an eye. I think right there's a false wall. There we go. It's a durability increase. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's use it on Lilith's weapon, just because we did use it a little bit during the last boss fight. It's slightly damaged, but not too bad. I love the background to Greece as well. It was, it was always one of my more favorite backgrounds to look at in this game. There's only one other level that I can say has a, a much better background than Greece, but that's not going to be for a little bit. Nope. Hi, eyeball. I didn't even see you up there. Eh, get it? Get it? I didn't see him up there. I'm not funny. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Gotta hop out here and head down in his flame. And of course, we fail at dodging the cannonballs. Ooh. I see I have admirers. Oh, there's the hook. Got ourselves a spiffy new hammer. What, what kind of hammer is it? Oops. Ah, Hephaestus. You know what's kind of funny? The only reason I know how to pronounce Hephaestus is because of Bioshock of all things. So thank you, Bioshock, for teaching me some Greek words. Oh, there we go. Another big hammer. Ah, uh, and there's our treasure. One of the rare times you actually do see the treasure as a preview. Oops, meant to use the other hammer, not that one. There we go. Also, one of the rare instances where the treasure's not hidden through like some special gauntlet flame has to go through. You just need a hammer, which the game graciously provides you plenty of by this time. And you're just gonna go right through there, break a couple blocks, and you, there's your next treasure in a one-up. Ah, 
there. See what I mean when it comes to the durability of the uh, javelins? They, they're garbage. Only really useful for checkpoints. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody's favorite soccer makes an entrance once more. What are you going to give me this time, horseman? Besides an aneurysm. As you've seen, because our spear burn means so high, he's actually been doing some pretty significant damage compared to past uh, fights we've had with him. Honestly, easiest boss out of all of them in this game. He's, his attack patterns are so predictable, and he gives you so much breathing room between attacks. <laughs> okay, gonna give me the snowman, huh? What was it? What did I put in this thing? I gotta remember. Let's see. Is it is a blunt or impact? Forty damage. Burden is pretty high. Durability is okay. I forget what burst was. It is a slow weapon. I gotta get, deal with the nightmare fish right here. I swear, those things will be terrifying to look at. I don't need no stinking weapons. I can beat you barefisted. Take this spear in your honor. And I might want to get a weapon that has some healing. Yeah, I'll take one of these. All right, the stone golems. These are actually pretty interesting enemies to fight. All you got to do is really hit the, the jewel on their crowns and they go down. They're, they're more of like a stage hatcher than they are like straight up enemies. They're a very simple enemy design, but at the same time, I don't know why I always like fighting them. Is it Ungabunga time? I do believe it is Ungabunga time. Fish! Ooh! Don't try to beat the fish. The fish will always beat you in the end. Chase you to the ends of the earth if it means to kill you. Uh oh. Oh, now he's got a shield wall. I believe that there's a recharge station right down here for Flame to grab. Yep. He is still trying to hit me. He doesn't realize I'm not even up there. The idiot, the fool, the buffoon. But don't worry, I'm coming. And send it right back at him. Alright, Spear's about to break, uh, but it has the defense up. I think I'll sacrifice a Dirk instead. She is. All right, Medusa. She, she fights how you probably would uh, think she would fight, except for the fact that she's got to embrace his drill, drill attack. Uh, that rain attack that she does, if that hits you, uh, it will, of course, turn you to stone. That's basically supposed to be like her stone gaze. 
Uh, just like Midnight to Cully, uh, her sword kind of acts independently from her, but I believe that unlike him, you can't actually knock her sword away. You kind of have to dodge it. Alright, I need some weapons. Beat her with a baseball bat, why not? Oh yeah, she also likes to do this cheap shot attack where she will literally stab you in the back. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. The illusion attack, you have to look for the one that's flashing to not get it hit by it. Uh oh. Okay, you know what, time to heal. Get a couple of food. really? All right. There we go. And I didn't even get stoned. And for stabbing me in the back, I'm taking your snake sword as well. Ah, so close. So almost held it in my hand. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. It's time to head back to the laboratory. I didn't say library this time. And it's time to sacrifice some of our weapons to the upgrade gods. Uh, let's see. I do like I like the design of Gorgon. It really is nice. Uh, let's see. The Dory definitely does are worth a lot of spirit points. I guess we can sacrifice some of the, our Dirks. Uh, let's see. The Armin Sword would also be a good one. I'm trying to use uh, ones that have the most spirit points associated with them. Uh, Claymore, yeah, Claymore is good, but at the same time, it has some de pretty decent reach. Get the mace as well. Save the Warhammer. Uh, the Celtic Knife, nah, Spear. I got plenty of Claymores, actually. Yeah, let's use a couple of them. Oh, there's the weapon that we got from Scotland, by the way, uh, William Wallace's sword. It's pretty good. I believe it has, like, a, a large heal associate. It's either large heal or... Uh, attack increase. There's another Dory we can use. And let's see. I don't want to sacrifice something big. Spear? Spear. And save that Gladius for next mission. Alright, only one more weapon upgrade to go. We do have the spear points, but of course, as usual, I want to save my spear points for later because I would like to see the horseman again for some really cool looking weapons. But either way, next time on Panzer Paladin, we're going to be taking a trip across all of Europe, and instead, we're going to be heading to the Far East. No, further. Further. There we go. We're heading to Japan. See you all in a bit. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next.